Hello and welcome back to Tony Northeastern and part five of building the scullery. Um, last time, as you know, we did all the internals and the chimney, so there's only one thing left to do, and that's to fit on the roofs, or possibly two things to do. You never know with me, I'm always adding something a little bit extra. Right, let's just see how we get on. Okay, here we are back at the bench and um, what we're going to be doing first before we put the roofs on here. Um, do you remember right at the very start in part one when this walkway was glued along there? So what I'm going to do now is put it back, but only as far as where the bricks start. So I've already pre-measured it, so it's just a case of trimming this to fit that space. Then we'll just glue that on there um, and make up a couple of brackets either side just to firmly support it upright. Okay, I've tipped it on its side because I think it'll be... Uh, easiest way of putting it on. I'm just going to use a little bit of a Yoohoo glue. Um, it might take a while to go off. Um, it's just because of the um, corrugated fascia. That's the only reason why I'm using Yoohoo glue. It's not going to Okay, it's kind of got a grip. So the next thing to do is make up a couple of brackets, one to go either side, just to give it that extra support. Right, as you can see, I've cut a couple of little um, brackets to go underneath the walkway just by using the recycled uh, card that's left over from cutting the length out originally. And they're roughly about 14 millimeters square. I managed to cut the curve out just by using the old scalpel. Um, marking it first and then using the scalpel to cut it out. So the next thing is to glue them on. Right, I've just hijacked uh, this passenger from New Hassle train station. I hope he doesn't mind. Just so I can get a rough height of what the handrail should be at. So I'm thinking around about 15 millimeters I would say off of the base. So I shall cut a few bits up and then see where we go from here. And here is the handrail waiting to be installed and there are the three posts 15 mil long and these segments of um, um, handrail if you like uh, are ready to go so let's glue them on okay that's the handrail installed just gotta wait for the glue to go off um, especially the yoohoo glue so I won't paint that until possibly tomorrow so next bit is to start on the roofs ow, ow, ow. Okay, before we start the roofs, um, I'm just going to add a fascia here and here, um, just to um, break up the corrugated before the roof goes on. I oh, don't like these, get rid of them. Okay, now with the handrail painted and the fascias painted the same colour to match. It's changed the look of the building yet again. Um, it's the same paint that's been used on the doors so it's all staying in a uniformed colour. Um, I've done the same here around the back of the building as well on that fascia and on the rear fascia. So, next thing 
There's the roofs. Okay, you remember that uh, super quick um, hut I was going to use um, as the office originally? Well, here it is. Um, totally stripped it down, took off the original roofs. Um, the door was this side, so I ripped it out and I've replaced it with a brand new door. And I've also added a chimney, which wasn't there before. And I'll get this to the same stage as the colliery, um, ready for roofing. So, um, I'm not going to put any detail into this. I'm just going to put an LED in there and that's all for this um, I think that yeah that's all I'm going to do for this so um, I'll get this to the same stage as the colliery and um, then we can start putting the roofs on okay I have now reached the same stage as the colliery um, by gluing the card on uh, painting the fascias adding the LED um, so we're ready to go with the roofing um, If you've seen any of my videos before I always tend to use the um, Medcalf slate card So first thing I'll do is I'll measure the apex to the edge of the fascia and Just add a millimeter or so for the overlap So now I've got the apex, oh, that just needs to be folded and, and cut to length. And then we can glue that in situ. So overall um, it's 72mm, but bearing in mind it's got to go past the chimney a little bit. So let's just say... Seventy five mil. Right, this will now form the basis for the roof. So I'll just trim it out. Okay, to um to fold the card I use this little trick and I put the rule right along that edge and then with another rule, preferably a smaller one, get underneath the card and just push against the other rule. There we go, there we have it. We have the apex. Right now that um, we have a little slight problem with this because I have to notch out to take it that way past the chimney. Um, not by much, um, just about half the distance of what I've got there. Four millimeters, so if I take it two millimeters past the chimney, two meters, two millimeters. Right, so now we've got to measure roughly, it's about three millimeters down. It's it's not a lot, but it's just enough to get it past that chimney. Nope, still need a bit more. Not much more. Just another millimetre. So, here I am, scoring away lines on the card here. Um, just going backwards and forwards. Just a couple of times. Pressing quite firmly so it leaves a impression uh, into the card. Right now for the boring bit, all the individual tiles. Right here we are, it took about five minutes to do. Um, it leaves the texture of tiles left on uh, after you actually um, imprint it on with a pen um, so the next thing to do is to glue it straight onto there and then that's ready for painting 
Right, as you can see, the roof is now glued on. Um, it's in place. And the next thing to do is to add the chimney pots. Um, I'll do that job at the same time as I come to the chimney pots on the mine. So, that was a nice and easy roof to do. So now we'll tackle the, the big roofs on the colliery itself. So I think I'll start with the, the main roof here and here. Um, fit this one first, then concentrate on that one. And then finally the one going this way in towards the main building, if you like. Um, with the apexes not being in a straight line, I'm going to have to make this roof up totally different from how I built the um, workshop. Um, I'm going to have to build it up in strips, one strip at a time, especially on these two apexes here. This one I could probably do as a folded piece, but these four pieces here will have to be individually and then with a stripper card across the top to tie it all in. Um, just because they're, they're level, it's just that they're different lengths. This one is different to the back ones here, these two. That one's the same as that one, because when I put the internal building in, I measured off of this one. So that one's nice and parallel with that one, but the back one here is just slightly skew. So I'm going to have to build it up individually. Uh, okay, that's the first piece in. Um, I've just got to score it up like I did with the cabin. And then we'll um, carry on from here and see where we go. Okay, we've moved on a little bit. Um, this roof is permanently fixed, uh, this section. Um, I've added a chimney as you can see and I have cut out and pre-made this to fit over the chimney like so. Um, it has to be scribed with a pen before I glue it on. But all in all it's coming together. I've got to do it a section at a time um, because um, the building is not square so I'm having to do one side at a time. Um, I've added a notch here for another chimney, so there'll be another chimney going in there. Um, I haven't made that up yet. So I shall progress a little bit further, see where we go. Okay, I've finished putting the roofs on, and um, there's only one thing left to do now is to finish off the lead flashing I've started, and, um, and then do the chimney pots and other little fine details. I have put on a little number plate there to indicate the year that it was built, which is 1825. Um, I'll tell you a bit more about that um, so later I'll on. just finish off the lid flashing, then we'll put it on the layout, and then we'll have a look at it. Okay, it's back in its usual spot, and it's almost finished. Um, as you can see the roofs have been painted, chimney pots have been added, all the lead flashing has been painted and all that's left to do is just the weathering of it which we'll come to in the next video and also in the next video we'll have a little bit of history um, regarding the, the coal mine and its name. It's not an exact replica um, but um, we we'll can go into it in a little bit more detail and the workshop that's all been painted now chimney pots been added and those cables once they have been sitting those cables won't be there Obviously, when I come to install it properly, um, it's just there, just so we can have a, a look at it from a distance to see what it's going to look like and get a full, comprehensive view of it, really. So, I um, hope you've enjoyed what you've seen. 
Um, it's been a little bit of a challenge getting that roof on. Um, but the building's not being square. But um, yep, I'm quite pleased with the way it's turning out. So, thanks for watching and we'll see you again next time. And happy modelling.